Hi everybody, I hope you are all doing well and staying safe and healthy. Uh, I'm doing another page in my Dilusions collage book and I am playing with two new colors by Diane Reevely in her Dilusions line and they are Pink Flamingo and Fiery Sunset and I am loving them. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this in my last video. I feel like I probably did, but just in case I didn't, these pages are really soaking up the paint. So if I had it back, I would have applied gesso to this paper before adding the paint because it took a lot of paint to get a fairly decent coverage. And that's not the paints, that's, that's the paper I was using. And as I'm saying all that, I really strongly feel that I said it in my last video. <laughs> so here I am taking the Honeycomb stencil by Di in Dilusions with the same two colors that I used for the background. It's just where I used pink on the bottom, I'm covering it with the Fiery Sunset, and up top I'm covering it with the Pink Flamingo. I feel like it kind of helps tie in the background a little bit as well, like blend the two colors together a bit more. So I'm taking some images from Diane's new collage, collage sets. Um, oh, right here, I was just pausing on that package so you could see, like, get the information for the envelopes. They're these big clear pouches and that's what I've been storing my collage sheets in like once I cut them up and I got them at the dollar store and they're great I love them and it has like a zipper top so anyway I'm taking images from her collage set and it's set one because at this point I don't think I even have set two yet and I have them now but I still haven't used them I still haven't cut them all up <laughs> and yeah <laughs> it takes a while and I have a friend who has cut up four packages already and she didn't get hers until after probably around the same time I got my second set or after that and she already has all four sets cut up not that Diane has four sets, she just, she has two sets of each. And she knows I'm talking about her. <laughs> She'll know as soon as she hears it. Oh my gosh, she's talking about me. And my backups. <laughs> so anyway, I just play with the images in the set. Um, I'll switch them out for different ones, just playing with the arrangement and just doing it until I get something that I like. And sometimes I drive myself crazy and I think I should just, you know, go with it and deal with it. Cut once it's stuck down, it's like, oh well, now you have to deal with it. <laughs> so I'm also using some Dilutions washi tape to fill in some gaps. And I wanted like a strip with words and stuff in it as well just to break it up and so it's not all pictures. I don't know where the idea came from, but I just thought it would be cool if a set of legs were sticking out from the border. I don't know why, but I did it and I liked it and I knew that, that was it was staying there. And this page actually took a complete different direction. I don't know about complete, but like I had planned on using that circle for the top of a hot air balloon. And I never did do that. I'm pretty sure that's what I was planning on doing. With yeah, it was, because I can remember looking for a bottom piece to use for the basket. And I never did do that. I don't know if it didn't work with the layout or if I just completely forgot. Either way, it didn't happen. 
So I have been trying to use glue stick to glue down my images because, well, Diane swears by it. And I get why, because, you know, you don't get the rumpling like you do from wet media. But, oh, hold on, I'm going to sneeze. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um, I, I do find using Mod Podge much easier but yes you can get the rumpling but I really hate glue stick I really really do I find it so annoying to use like it's not so bad if you have a fairly decent sized piece but if it's too big then I find that annoying but if it's like these little rectangles and squares I mean they're fine to glue down but when you have things like the legs and stuff, I find like you can rip it when you're trying to apply glue. Like you'll see later in the video, I'm putting glue on like a swirl piece and I and the tip rips off. And I just really don't like glue stick. <laughs> and no, I'm not doing it just because Diane says that's what she uses. But I just thought I'd try it because what she was saying made sense. Like her reasons for using it totally made sense. But I'm not enjoying it. But the thing with Mod Podge is like if I wanted to use her sprays on the background, then the Mod Podge would smudge and move the ink around. So I don't know. I'm almost all out of glue stick anyway, so I won't have a choice. I'm not going shopping right now. But anyway, tell me what you use. Like if you do collage or like a lot of gluing things for like art journaling and stuff, let me know what you use and if you have any tricks and tips. I'm curious to see what the majority of people use. So I've been playing around with an idea, well, it's not like I have anything specific in mind, but a lot of people do live videos, like on YouTube. And I was just wondering, would any of you be interested in that? And if so, what is it you would like to see? What would you like to get from it? Like. I even thought about doing one just like, though it might be harder. It would be so much easier if we could actually chat chat. <laughs> but I, because I did think about doing one where you could ask me questions and I would answer them. I don't know. Because it would be hard, I would think, to do, like, to be doing what I'm doing here now and try to read the questions off the screen and stuff so I don't know just let me know what your thoughts are on a live video if it's something you'd be interested in and what you would be interested in seeing during a live video what you would like to get out of it and if you even care at all like for them just looking for some feedback so give me your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below and I will read them and I'll see what most people are saying. I've never done one before, so I'm totally clueless. I'm sure I can figure it out. I don't know how smooth sailing it will be, but <laughs> if it's what you guys would like, I mean, I'm willing to try it sometime. It'll be a learning thing, but I'm sure it'll only be hard the first time, right? Oh, that little image there that I'm gluing down, that is a stamped image from one of Diane's stamp sets, and the circles are as well. It's, um, 
the circles are from Starstruck and I'm gonna have to check on the borders they're actually both from Starstruck I actually like the look of it too like having the colored borders and then just mixing in a little bit of black and white I really like the look of it if I remember it'll definitely be something I do again so this stamp is from fish face I don't know what it is about this stamp but I love it <laughs> I know it's odd but I just really like it and I had a hard time getting it stamped out but I think it's because where my collage book has flaps on the ends of some pages I think it was just where my stamping board was laying I think it just happened to be laying in a spot where that one section wasn't getting enough contact with the paper underneath because once I moved it in a different spot I was able to get more contact see and I ended up coloring this whole entire image and I really didn't like how the shirt came out I like the fish head part, but I did not like the shirt. Also, let me know for the coloring, like I don't do anything really special. So when I edit my videos, would you prefer that I just skip the coloring section like leave it out entirely and you'll see the image when it's done you can answer that down in the comments below as well because if you guys don't want to see it if it's something you're skipping by just to get over it then I'll leave it out I have no problems leaving it out So I'm creasing the paper where it meets the border because I was trying to get a line there so I knew where to cut it. But then I had the idea to just take a straight edge and since the border was straight I could just you know, tear it along the line there. So I wanted it to look like it was coming out of the border. But then when I had a glimpse of it, I didn't really care for it. So all that coloring end up chopping off the shirt and only using the fish yeah <laughs> I'm not surprised it happened because like I said I really didn't like the coloring of the shirt so I'm really not shocked that I didn't use it but I love the fish I love how it just pokes out of the border I think the less things make sense, the more I like it. 
Maybe because it's more fun. And this kind of makes it look like the fish has a mohawk. <laughs> I don't know what possessed me to do it, but when I put it there, I really liked it. And I don't know. I just really like it. So I went with it. This stamp set is clearly borders. It's one of those sets where um, at Michael's you would get a stamp set and stencil and it would be like a smaller version of one of our other sets or something or you wouldn't get all of them. However Michael's do their smaller sets. And this didn't quite work out like I envisioned it, but once it's all finished, it really doesn't matter. And I was using the Tim Holtz archival ink pads. This one barely even showed up. Sorry for my head, but I'm trying to get the positioning right. So the quote I chose had some numbers in it and instead of drawing them I thought I would use her stencil and just fill in with a Posca paint pen. It's totally not necessary but I just thought I would give it a try. I just wanted to get down like my border pieces glued down. Let's oh, see where I ripped it. So I knew where all my writing could go for my quote. Instead of doing lots of different fonts for the quote, I chose mainly just one style and then I think I just took two words maybe. I feel like there was two words I made differently and all the rest were just the same style. And the quote, it's one that I read a lot of times and every time I do it makes me chuckle a little because it's so true and it's I've got 99 problems and 86 of them are completely made up scenarios in my head that I'm stressed about for no logical reason at all <laughs> it just makes me laugh I've also <laughs> read another one and I don't know how exactly it goes but it's something I oh, know there's different versions of it and I read one the other day where it's saying like time spent in the shower like 5% you know actually washing your hair and your body and stuff 10% I don't know singing songs and then the rest was like winning made up arguments in your head it's, like, it's so true I'm sure I'm not the only one that does that but it's like if I know I'm gonna see somebody or if I'll think of a situation that could happen and all of a sudden in my head I've made up this whole entire argument and then 
my reasons and my points to my side of the story and good comebacks that I can make. (laughs) It is so silly, but when I read it, it really made me laugh because it is so true. I'm sure I'm not the only one that does that. Obviously, I'm not because somebody else made up the quote, but it just makes me laugh. And I love that I'm not alone in my craziness. (laughs) Although I probably could have kept it to myself instead of telling you guys on YouTube. (laughs) So that is pretty much going to be it for this layout. I just finish the quote and then I do the little thing with the white gel pen where I'll trace one side, like I usually choose the left side and then the bottom for my white lines on the letters. And I fill in the word problems, stressed, and no logical. I color those in white as well. And that is it. Yep. So, Don't forget to answer the million questions I asked throughout the video. (laughs) So leave your answers down in the comments below. And that is it. So hopefully there's no reason why I shouldn't that I can think of. I'll have this video out today, which is March the 20th. And... I have, let's see, one, I have one more page that's completed as well, but I don't have any editing done to it. And then I have another huge spread that I'm working on and I have almost completed. So I have a couple more to share, but like I said, one's not finished and the other one hasn't been edited yet. So hopefully I can get caught up on the weekend. And I hope you all have a enjoyable, safe, and healthy weekend. And until next time, bye.